Is this aroma rice cooker worth the money? I tried it out and I have the answer for you. Hey everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. Here you'll find practical tips for a home you'll love. Today I'm going to give you my reviews on this aroma rice cooker. Rice is something that we eat in our house probably about once a week. This rice cooker is something that I had been wanting to try for a while. I bought it a couple of months ago and have been trying it out so that I can do a review for you guys. We cook rice maybe about once a week in our house and we eat brown rice and it takes a long time to cook. For the longest time I was cooking it on the stove top and it was just never turning out right. It took forever, it took a good hour for it to cook, and then half the time I couldn't keep the heat even, so sometimes it would be a little bit dry and burnt on the bottom, and sometimes there'd be way too much water, and it just never turned out consistent. Because it took a long time, I like to just leave it on the stove and let it cook, and that just didn't work well. So I decided to go on Amazon and find a rice cooker that would work for us. We've had it for a while now, and I've tried it out and used it multiple times, so I'm gonna share information on how to use it, what you get in the box, how it works, and my overall impression. First, we're gonna talk about the contents and what you get with the rice cooker. There are lots of different aroma rice cookers out there. The one that I chose is, this is like the compact one. It's an eight cup rice cooker, so you can cook up to eight cups of rice, which was really surprising to me because this is really compact and tiny. I had hesitated to get a rice cooker because I thought that they would be really big. The one that my mom has is an older aroma one and it's super large. So the fact that this was small was something that attracted me to it. It's about eight and a half inches wide by 9.3 inches tall. Inside of the rice cooker you get this little inner pot. This is where you cook the rice. There's also a steamer basket for steaming vegetables and you can also do meat and other food items. There's a measuring cup and a spatula for the rice. The good thing is that all of these items and the inner pot that you cook the rice in are dishwasher safe, so that's a huge plus that you don't have to hand wash them every time that you're done. That was big for me because since I was cooking it on the stove, I was having to hand wash the pot every time that I was making rice. I will say though, for the inner pot, you can get some like rice residue stuck on it. I don't know, you can kind of see just a little bit. I try to wipe it out really well. The rice does get stuck on here and will leave a little bit of residue if you just throw it in the dishwasher. So I like to give it a good scrub with my dish brush before I put it in the dishwasher. That way it doesn't leave the residue and then sometimes I'll give it a wipe out afterwards. It's not really a big deal and it might not be something that happens with all different types of rice, but we like to eat brown rice so that might just be a part of brown rice in this rice cooker. There are a couple other things about the rice cooker that you need to know that I didn't know at first. Inside the rice cooker you have this inner lid and I was always just wiping it out with a paper towel or a dish rag whenever we were done. It is actually removable. So you can take it off and if you can see, it does get a little bit of gunk up in there. So you wanna make sure that every once in a while you remove this inner lid and you give it a good wipe along with the inside part of the rice cooker as well that is underneath that. So that's something that you need to be aware of that's not super obvious. You want to remove the inner lid every once in a while and give it a good clean, but I don't think that this can go in the dishwasher. And then when you're done with it, you just pop it right back on. Boom. This is another thing that I wasn't aware of right away. This collects the condensation in this little container so that it's not all over the outside of the cooker. So every once in a while, again, you just wanna pop this off, give it a rinse, let it dry, and then put it back on. That way a bunch of gunk doesn't build up on it. Next, we're gonna talk about the different functions of the rice cooker. The rice cooker has a lot of different features that you may or may not find useful. Of course, there are the regular rice functions on here. You have the white rice button and the brown rice button. So depending on the type of rice that you make, white rice or brown rice, you just press the button that corresponds to it. There's also a flash rice option. This is a fast way to cook white rice. It's not gonna work on brown rice. As I was looking over the manual, it says it takes about nine minutes off the rice 
regular cook time of white rice and so that just depends on how much rice you are cooking of course the more rice that you cook the longer it's going to take and overall it'll take about nine minutes off there's also a delay timer this is something that I have found really handy because we eat brown rice it takes about an hour to cook for the amount that i usually make and sometimes i'm not thinking about that an hour before i'm going to be ready to eat but i might think about it earlier in the day so you can get the rice all ready and get it in the cooker and set the delay timer one important tip that i learned with this delay timer is that you want to set it for the time that you want the rice to be ready. I made this mistake the first time that I used the delay timer. I was assuming that I'm going to set it for the time that I want it to start cooking the rice. I wanted the rice to be ready in three hours from when I was setting it up. So I set the delay timer for two hours thinking that it would wait two hours and then cook the rice and take an hour to actually cook the rice. That's not what happened. My rice was ready early, which was okay because the warm setting on the cooker works really well and keeps it nice and warm. It just caught me by surprise because I was walking past and it started cooking and I was really confused as to why. If you think about it, it actually works way better the way that it is set up. If you're thinking, okay, I want to eat in three hours, I'm going to set the delay timer for three hours and the rice will be ready in three hours. That way you don't have to do the math and say, oh, I want the rice to be ready in three hours. I'm gonna set it for two hours because it takes an hour to cook. So just be aware of that if you're going to use the delay timer. Set it for the time that you want the rice to be ready. There's also the keep warm feature which will just keep the rice or the food inside of it warm. Like I said when talking about the delay timer, this feature does automatically kick in and turn on whenever your food or your rice is ready or you can set it directly to keep warm. The last feature is the steam feature. This is if you are using the steamer basket to steam vegetables or other different kinds of foods. Inside of the manual that they give you with the rice cooker, it lists the different steam times for various meats and vegetables. So if you're wanting to use the cooker to, in order to steam some different foods, the manual will tell you how you can do that with the steam feature. Next, let's talk about how to use the rice cooker. So I'm gonna talk you through how to use it in order to just cook regular rice, and the same goes whether you're cooking white rice or brown rice. The first thing that you're gonna do is to measure the rice in the measuring cup. Now don't worry if you misplace this. This little measuring cup is equal to 3 fourths a cup. When you're measuring the rice for the cooker, this is going to equal one cup. So you measure out your rice, how many cups of these that you want. Your next step is to rinse the rice. This is a step that I used to skip because I don't have a small little colander or strainer to strain my rice in. But a tip for you if you don't have one of those either, measure out the rice and pour it into the inner cooking pot. You can rinse it in some water and then carefully drain it out and do that a couple of times in order to rinse the rice off before you cook it. If you do it like that, make sure that you wipe off the outside of the inner pot because you don't want it to be wet whenever you stick it in the cooker and turn it on. The next step is to fill the inner pot with water. You want to fill it to the line that matches however many of the measuring cups that, of rice that you put in. So I usually just do one of these cups of rice so I fill it to the one line on the inner pot. Next you're going to place the inner pot into the cooker. Remember make sure that it's dry and not wet on the outside and you're either going to choose the white rice option or the brown rice option depending on the type of rice that you're cooking or flash rice if you need fast white rice. On the display, a chasing dot pattern will appear. Don't worry, it is cooking and starting to work. This is something that I was really confused about in the beginning and wasn't sure if it was working right. That is what it is supposed to do. Depending on the type of rice cooker that you choose, when it gets down to around 10 minutes is when it will start giving you a countdown timer of how much time is left on the rice before it will be done. When your rice is finished cooking, the cooker will beep and then turn automatically to warm. Like I said, this is an amazing feature because if you're not ready to eat right away, then it will keep it warm for a long time for you. Lastly, I wanna share my overall impressions of this rice cooker. First of all, it's super easy to use and clean. It is so much better than cooking rice on the stove, way less hassle, way less work, much easier to clean, especially since the general items that you're using most of the time and that need to be cleaned most of the time, you can just 
pop in the dishwasher. I do have to scrub that inner pot just a little bit, but that's not something that bothers me because I'd rather give it a little scrub than have to deal with the residue left over after the dishwasher. Next, the delay timer is my absolute favorite option. I think that this is the best feature on this rice cooker because I can be thinking about when I need to cook the rice way ahead of time, get it set so I don't forget about it. Cause I'm somebody who will go off and go do something, go work on something and then remember too late that I need to cook the rice and then have to wait an hour before the rice is ready. So the delay timer is incredible and my absolute favorite option. And lastly, I love the compact size. I don't like to leave a lot of things out on the counter. I like to put away things that don't get used all the time into our pantry. So it's nice to have a small little compact appliance that I can just put at the top of the pantry whenever I'm not using it. I also want to add that the price point for this rice cooker is really great. I paid about $30 for it. So to answer the question from the beginning, I definitely think that this rice cooker is worth the money. $30 is a great price for it to be super cheap, easy to use, have an awesome option like the delay timer and to be something that's small and compact and easy to store. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it helps you decide if the Aroma Rice Cooker is right for you. Just for watching today's video, I have a special free guide for you, my home organization essentials. Just click on the first link down in the description below and that will take you to a page where I ask for your name and email address. Just pop in your name and email, that way I know where to send it. If you did enjoy today's video, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up down below. Also, comment below and let me know what you think. Is the Aroma Rice Cooker worth it for you? If you haven't already, click that subscribe button and hit the bell, that way you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.